Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. Rejoice, honored guests, for to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine. I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. in a tree. You must search elsewhere. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <gasps> hmm? Ooh, what do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? Could be worse, I suppose. Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So. You've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. <laughs> Did you just say something? Where are you? Where did you go? Uh, 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 huh? I, I, is that a good good? Oh. 
You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I was waiting. In the end. <laughs> you, you said you were g going to take, take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why, why did you leave me on my own? Sounds like she's lost someone. Wait. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us, and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. <gasps> oh, it's you. Hey, kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? Um, uh, I, uh, um, she's... Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding doors. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome. Here are they. Service, if you please. Hmm? <sighs> A fearsome young pup. 
Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh... I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travellers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. You do realise you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're going to be able to keep up? Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. West, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there! <laughs> Serena, wake up! It's me, Veronica. Hmm? That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well,. I'm here for you now, so pull yourself together! Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica, it, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? Who, but how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I, I thought you were... Well, that you were... you know... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? <laughs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. 
I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <gasps> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one! Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this Jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The Lord of Shadows? That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. Boys, 
This lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking! Ah, looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not.
Ugh. Oh, I'll never be the Lord of Shadow's right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> We'll find out soon enough, huh? Ha! <laughs> right! Time to get my magic back! To worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. I trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're travelling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the Luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere.
face. Oh. Hey, who's there? Don't worry, you're safe now. We took care of that potty old fat head and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? And think. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Noah? I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says, honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. But you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! Come on, 
and Daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Just uh, one more for the uh, road, sweetie. You never know. He might uh, have some hot gossip that I uh, need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumours, huh? Some things never change. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and their monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have wall up the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and... Well, I just hope she's all right. <sighs> she... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, man. Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert when we came down with a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then these soldiers from Gallopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's bleeding palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-coloured branch thing. Ooh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know top-end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself. Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <laughs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through.
Look at all these people. How marvellous. Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? of the desert night, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Indrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. Sand National. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such... No, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. This is Bond, his kingdom, his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong, un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Ha. Mm, yes, very good. The Knight's Pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> You are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. 
Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the Great Staircase. I shall await you there. Ah, you came. Thank you. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> but the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah. Ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the Great Sylvando! Gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvano will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> We must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. Now, 
As you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny, tiny, terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. Huh? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for the Prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable, unthinkable. Huh. Huh? So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also! For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view! Oh, please, please! I beg of you, you must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. You are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen. If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? Ah, <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end! Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell, friends! <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
Hello, Galopolitans! This is... Uh, no ordinary sand national! Uh... Hooray! All hail Prince Varys! Wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! You are most talented, a far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> now quickly, my public await. I shall take the reins from here. <laughs> Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation.
Praise the fates. Our plan was a success. Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <gasps> All hail, Prince Faris! Pride of the desert. Horseman extraordinaire! Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance? <gasps> oh, this is too, too good! Wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! I did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now, all can be forgotten. Yes? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity! Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry! <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness! The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. Nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> My duties as a prince and as a knight. Hmm? Ah. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Thank you, Father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. Your Majesty, the beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. But wait. My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. What? But, 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 but oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. Mm -hmm. Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> 
This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I, I, oh, very, very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. I beg of you, the Slayer of the Sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible. I am no knight. I neglected my training. I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me. <laughs> oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Ow, 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 it's so unfair. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom, and through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> oh, thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> and fear not, I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. I mean no disrespect, Your Highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! For Galopolis. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, 
I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! the night here. The monster will have to wait. <sighs> there you are. As you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. That's right. You get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Come on, you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic. But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans. To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see. It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kitties. Betty buys. full of mysteries. What's his deal? The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. are made of. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh dear. Looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm here to help.
that will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. The Slayer of the Sands is bested. All in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis. <laughs> you saw me, man, did you not? You saw the People's Prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Of course, Your Highness. <sighs> You have my thanks, friend. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your... ...valuable... ...contribution. <laughs> I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the Rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. I <laughs> Galopolis, men! We return as heroes! Yeah! Oh, well, this feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Silvando. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves! <laughs> <laughs>